From the beginning, the life of a cook has never been easy. There was always something. But now there's Ward's incredible microwave oven. It'll defrost, simmer, bake. The microwave oven. It revolutionised cooking in the 70s, doing what normally took hours in a matter of minutes. Keep your eye on the chocolate cupcake. It rises faster than you can eat it. Originally developed by NASA for the space program. Microwave cooking units, like those in the NASA Lunar Receiving Laboratory and this test kitchen, are indeed revolutionary. You'd now be hard pressed to find an Australian kitchen that doesn't have one. So easy to use, they are literally child's play. But have you ever thought about your safety when you're cooking or reheating? That perhaps you might also be cooking your family at the same time. Continual use. The doors opening and closing all the time. In a normal residential home, you might open and close the microwave three or four times a day. In other places, you might even open it once, twice a week. It all depends on usage. Jim Burke is a microwave tester with Occupational Safety Services and tests thousands of microwaves a year for radiation leaks. He says the more use a microwave gets, the more likely it is to begin leaking around the seals and hinges, no matter how old it is. Well, there is an Australian standard, and that Australian standard is made for good reason. Um, microwaves are set to be used, and if they reach a capacity of five milliwatts per square centimetre, anything above that, you shouldn't be using them. We decided to play microwave roulette on Gumtree, buying four advertised microwaves that were well used in residential homes and gave them to Jim to check. The result didn't just surprise us, they shocked Jim. 9.20, 5.58, overload on the top hinge. We will get to those findings shortly, but first, how does a microwave work? Inside a microwave oven, the magnetron similarly transmits waves of energy. There's no place for the microwaves to go but into the food, whose molecular structure absorbs and converts the energy in the form of heat. And what are the dangers if those microwaves leak out? If you place yourself very close to the oven, you could exceed what would be recommended limits for exposure to the eye, um, also to the body in general. Graham Palmer worked as the Radiation Protection Manager with the Environmental Protection Agency. Now retired, he says microwaves used correctly are a safe kitchen tool, but they can pose some risks to our health. The most common are burns from hot food. There have been cases where children have been scalded badly, and also sometimes the, when you're heating food, uh, when you open the oven, sometimes they, the boiling food suddenly erupts. But he says you need to be on the lookout for signs of disrepair, like loose hinges and latches and rust holes in the casing. An intense exposure to the eye could cause cataracts, for example. The rule of thumb, his advice, is to be at least 30 centimetres away from a cooking microwave. But 60 centimetres is preferred. So this kind of behaviour is a no-no. Now back to our results. All these microwaves look in pretty good condition, but that is no indication they are safe. Once it reaches around four milliwatts per square centimetre, we let the client know that it's getting near a level that's unacceptable, replace it. And the first one we test isn't just over that. The microwaves it's emitting are so high, it overloads the testing device. Really bad, so high it's off the scale. Our, our leakage detectors go as high as 10 milliwatts per square centimetre and this one's going off the scale. Out of the four we tested, two failed, emitting unsafe levels of microwaves into unsuspecting home cooks. Jim's advice, if your oven has seen better days, don't take the risk and never stand in front of it watching it cook. Got any concerns and you want to upgrade to the newer model? Go out and get one. Simple as that. After all, it's just the food you want cooked not your kids. Cooks a complete meal for four in less than an hour. It makes a cook's life easy. Of course, good help is still hard to find.